So how long have you been dealing with lower back, hip, or maybe even down the leg or sciatic leg symptoms? A lot of patients that I have worked with in the past maybe have a very similar story to you. They've tried pills and they haven't really found any relief. And honestly, they tell me that they know it's not good for them. They know that's not the permanent solution to their symptoms. And they're just looking for a little bit of extra help. A lot of people are just super scared and super frustrated. If you've ever gone on Dr. Google or you've gone on YouTube and you've looked for information about lower back pain relief, maybe even exercise or movements or just tips to help you with your overall pain and your lower back problems. A lot of the times what I found is through my own personal experience as well as through what patients have told me in the past is honestly what you'll find is super, super scary information about arthritis, degeneration, uh, disc bulges, things that just don't go away and that you just have to accept these levels of pain and you're just going to have to live with it. I have literally heard that thousands of times and I'm here to tell you that those things, although they may be true that you may have arthritis, you may have degeneration, they not, may not be the absolute cause of your back pain. So if you get anything out of any of this information that I give you, I want to say and tell you that you are not defined by your diagnosis, your medical diagnosis. You're not a low back pain. You're not an arthritis. You're not a degeneration. You're just a person dealing with some symptoms and some pain. And maybe it's gotten to the point where it's really impeding your quality of life and you just have some questions. You're not really sure what to do about it. You're not really sure if pills or maybe if it's going to get worse if you should consider surgery if you've ever looked at the statistics and the research about specifically lower back pain or lower back issues in the united states there's some research out there that actually says that we do somewhere between four to five times more surgery than other countries which is absolutely unacceptable because a lot of the factors that actually determine lower back pain may be different than what you think so the factors that determine if you're going to have surgery as far as your lower back symptoms and what you're dealing with. Some of the big factors are zip code, pain level, age, and where you live. Only a couple of those make sense. The other ones are more revolving around insurance type and kind of follow the money issues. So again, enjoy any information that I give you. I hope you get some good tips and just some information. And the biggest thing I hope I give you and I hope we can establish a good relationship to find out that what you're dealing with may not be the end of your life. You may not have to live with it for the rest of your life. And you may not have to rely on pills, injections, surgery, or that fear of what if these problems get worse? What am I going to do if my pain increases and my quality of life decreases? I'm here to help you answer any and all questions and just give you the best information about yourself and your own health.